this is, this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, sorry about that. That was really weird. Back? I'm back. All right. Welcome to 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, so, b- massive news. I'm sure y'all heard the massive news. Tyson Fury versus uh, Alexander Olsik. Looks like it's to go for April 29th. Uh, they had a deadline today, and shortly before the deadline, Usyk informed the WBA uh, that he was uh, willing to accept the uh, short end of a 30-70 split with Tyson Fury. Uh, and then he made a demand that uh, Fury make a $1 million donation to the people of Ukraine. I, I guess Fury decided. Now, I'm going to admit I was wrong. I said there was no shot that Fury was going to fight Usyk. Looks like Usyk called his bluff, and and that's what we have here. Um, all right, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow Three D Boxing, Three D Boxing blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, quick hits comes at you every day, eight to ten minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also follow our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get back into it. I was wrong. I said there was no way. Um, Fury was going to fight Usyk. I just didn't think it was going to happen. Uh, there was a, an energy that Fury had for Joshua. There was an energy he had to fight Wilder three times. There was an energy he had to fight Chizor three times. Right, but That energy did not exist for Usyk. He had a million and one excuses. He wants half a billion dollars. He wants this, that, and the third. Uh, you know, he's retired now. Well, you know... Uh, and then he makes a ridiculous offer for Usyk to take 30%. And I don't know why Usyk does it, but he takes the short money. Look, I'm going to get into a couple of things here. I'm not telling anyone to do what, what they want with their money. Usyk is clearly getting paid a lot of money, millions and millions of dollars. It's a legacy fight. He could be you know, an undisputed heavyweight champ, undisputed cruiserweight champ. Um, I, I think he's going to win the fight. I, I think Fury knows he's going to win the fight. I'm pretty sure everyone involved knows that uh, Usyk is going to win the fight. Um, so he's taking the money. He's taking short money. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't advise my client or my fighter to do it. He's betting on himself here. He's betting on himself here. I mean, this you know, both guys are, are old now. Both guys are, are well into you know their their mid thirties. Uh, I think Usyk is what thirty five. He's 36 now. Um, you know, this is really it for him. He, uh, you know, this is this is it, you know. Does he fight on after this? And, 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 and Fury is 34? This is their last, you know, this is their last hurrah. You know, so Usyk took the fight. I give him, I, I tip my hat to him. I wouldn't take it on short money. Um, and yes, it is very short money. If I was Usyk, I would demand 55% and I would not settle for one penny less than 51%. He beat Joshua twice. Joshua was the biggest draw in the heavyweight division. Not even close. Usyk beat him twice. Twice. He was contractually obligated to the rematch. He beat him. Okay. He had to beat him again. He did. Why would he take it on short? What? Okay, he beat the biggest draw in the sport. He beat the heavyweight champ. Why would he take any fight on short money? He's the unified heavyweight champion of the world. Why would he take any fight on the short end of the stick? It doesn't make any sense. Right? And, and, and to me, Fury saying take 30% is saying I don't want to fight because there's no reasonable – expectation that he would take short money to anyone. He's the unified heavyweight champ. He's the baddest man on the planet. And and, and, and Tyson Fury um, says take 30%. That's all you deserve. And he takes it. 
I mean, it's terrible negotiating, but if you want the fight, you want the fight. And he wanted to fight that bet, and he was willing to take a horrible deal. And again, he's getting paid millions. He's going to make millions and millions and millions of dollars. So, like, you know, he could have gotten more, so I don't feel that bad. But, like, why is he taking dictates from Fury? Like, let me give you guys a comparison. Crawford and Spence are negotiating. If Spence, who has three belts, went in and said, uh, if, if Crawford went to Spence, Spence has three belts, Crawford has one, right? So, so Crawford is the fury in this analogy, said, I want 70%. Spence, you only deserve 30. Y'all would laugh. But you, y'all would think that's the most ridiculous item of the day. Am I wrong? If, if Crawford demanded seventy percent, that that we wouldn't even like that. That is you telling me you don't want the fight, right? That's no different than what Fury did. That is no, Fury's got one belt. Usyk just beat the biggest name in the division twice and has three belts. Why? Why would he take short money? He did. So we're gonna get the fight. All good with me. I just don't understand why he would do it. Plus, all right, we're going to get the fight. So that, I think, I think Fury got his bluff called. Usyk took short money, and now Usyk is going to beat him. And I'm going to be the first one on record. I've been saying it all along. Usyk is going to beat Fury, which is why Fury don't want the fight. Fury's never been shook like this before. Fury, you, you've never seen Fury back out of a fight the way that he's back out of negotiations with Usyk. Now Usyk's called his bluff. He's got to fight him. Well played by both parties. Yo, know, Fury, I, I, I think this may be it for each fighter. Um, if they didn't reach this agreement, Usyk was going to have to fight Dubois. Entertaining fight. Obviously, Usyk would win that fight. Um... But this may be it for both guys, and then we go into another era of heavyweights. Here we get the Jared Andersons. I know you guys like Tony Oak. I mean, we go into another era of heavyweights. Daniel Dubois. Uh, but this is a great era, and, and, and we're going to get this fight to, to see where, who is the best heavyweight of this era? Was it Usyk or is it Fury? We're, we're going to get the answer to that question. You guys know who I think it is, right? Um. But we're gonna get the fight. It looks like it's not official yet, so don't, don't, don't. You know, it just looks that way. They both inform the WBA of it, so that's good news. You know, and, and kudos to Usyk for taking the short money. Let me know what y'all think. Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow Three D Boxing, Three D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. Quick hits come at you every day, eight to ten minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please subscribe to the other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. It is March 11th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless.